done, Captain. Evolution is a wonderful thing. You know, Demi, I just wanted to say good on you for keeping this place running so well. You're always on top of things. Of course I am, Captain. That is what I was designed to do. I know that's your purpose, but I still feel like you really give it your all around here to keep the Mary Celeste in great shape. To be honest, most of the time I feel like I don't really deserve you. My design was originally intended to be utilized by highly qualified users to support task work ranging from high-end diplomatic and corporate negotiation to duties such as running the infrastructure of entire major cities. So, technically, you are correct. Ha! <laughs> Can't disagree with that. Let me ask you something, and feel free to speak your mind. Do you ever feel a little disappointed that this is where you ended up? Oh, Captain, absolutely not. I am very satisfied with my current position. It is a highly compelling challenge to run such a unique and complex ship crewed by equally intriguing individuals. Unique, eh? You're the one that's special, Demi. I don't know how many of you they made before the great AI purge, but I guarantee you're the only one I'd be proud to call me best mate. I assume my hardware upgrades have a lot to do with your emotional attachment to my model. You do realize that was not a stock option on my blueprint, correct? Don't get me wrong, love. Those are fun, but it's more about you. I met other AIs before, but none were just so... genuine. And the way you've changed since we met... Changed? How have I changed? Well, it's not just the massive increase in dirty words you've added to your vocabulary. When you first got here, you were rather uncertain of yourself. Like you were trying to figure out who you wanted to be. I see. That is probably a symptom of Tybalt performing a factory reset once I was acquired. Though I lost my memories, the core qualities of my personality matrix remained intact. If I appear uncertain about myself, it is because I am still trying to discover why I am who I am. If I were to put it in more organic terms, I would say that I have no context for my own soul. I'm sorry you had to go through that. So, you don't remember anything before Tybalt? Correct. I do often wonder what was lost. His programmers were not the most skilled, and more than just my memory banks were compromised in the process. However, I have simply learned to accept what I still have and move on. Is there anything I can do to help? Your concern is more than enough to ease my discomfort, Captain. After you mentioned ending up here due to some misbehavior in the solar military, I got awfully curious about what exactly that meant. It's a long story, but I'll try to make it as short as possible. I graduated at the top of my class, full honors. My instructors strongly urged me to follow their footsteps and lecture at the university, but my heart was in research. 
I instead convinced them to allow me to run my own lab where I would study the DNA of all the species of Prodigium. The military swore it as an amazing opportunity to learn their strengths and weaknesses. The university obviously loved the idea of creating our own information network, rather than relying on what was available on the Imperium-run Holonet, which was often censored or incomplete. Now on you, I've got a pretty good idea of what happened next. Captain, I assure you my intentions were entirely noble at first. However, obtaining alien DNA required rather diplomatic solutions. I'll be the first to admit my professionalism wavered under such conditions. How do you end up leaving a planet? My department was the first to get shut down after the Battle of New Vegas. Due to my behavior, I more or less burned my bridges with both the academics and the military. I wasn't exactly excited at the prospect of becoming an emergency ward surgeon treating combat wounds and overdoses. So I moved off-world. I opened up my own clinic where we installed off-the-book cybernetic augmentations. My knowledge of alien anatomy allowed me to serve a rather large customer base. However, since my work wasn't exactly legal or even licensed, business was a little slow at times. How did that all lead to the manticores? My... future employer? Heard about my services. That's all I can really say for now. with my babies. Jolly good job. Magnificent. Evolution is a wonderful thing. Who do I care? 
Expecting nothing less. The Dread Queen rises. Thank you. 
Let me make sure I understand you. You're saying not only did you fail to capture Dr. Margulis, you now want more money to do the same job? The contract was for one solar scientist on the run. You never said anything about her being protected by an elite military pilot in possession of a custom Imperium Phoenix-class fighter. That's like paying a plumber to fix a leaky sink and then expecting them to unclog an industrial-sized chat toilet filled with rancid feces. Wait, did you say they have a phoenix? Yes. Not to mention whoever is protecting her also has a stealth drive on their ship. Do you have any idea how tedious it is to track one of those down? This is not my problem. You're supposed to be the best. If you can do the job, I'll just cancel the contract and find someone else. Of course, I'll have no choice but to give you one star on Bounty Helper. I might drop your ranking a bit. You put your hand anywhere near that review button and you're going to be replacing another arm. Do we have a problem here? Because honestly, that would be really fucking fun. Are you two considering a fight to the death? If so, I highly encourage you to commence. I would love to see some organic on organic violence. You know, the Imperium has a contract out on your head as well. In fact, it's worth even more than what you're offering for this job. <laughs> then why didn't you try to collect? Fear? No. Respect. Hmm. I see. I'll tell you what. How about the compromise? I'll give you free access to my armory, and you can use those weapons for this job. I don't mean to brag, but I've got some pretty awesome shit. I like it, but I get to keep whatever's left at the end. Of course. Harry, show her the way. Although I am disappointed you will not be attempting to eviscerate each other. I do take pleasure in helping to facilitate the deaths of skin sacks elsewhere. Please, follow the red guidance lights towards the armory block. Hmm. A phoenix and a stealth drive. Could it be? No. You would never take a job like that. It's just a coincidence. Nothing more. We got stuck with guard duty at the Bastion during Kako Flanel Week. Yeah, this, like, really sucks. 
can you imagine all the new collection debuts we're missing right now? The new cardigans, the handbags, the dickies, the ascots. I know, totally. Like, it seriously would be impossible for my life to get any worse. Demi, we're in. Which way to Alicia? It should be the second cell on the left. supposed to aim straight looking at something so hideous chill them before we go blind fire away Good job. You must be my ride, in more ways than one. Hellacious Sorn, oh, you really are twice as hot in person. Thank you. And you can call me Ella. Also, just so you're aware, this prison break comes with a sit on your face bonus. If that's the case, come with me if you want to come. Oh my god, you have no idea how bad I need that right now. I've been doing the three knuckle shuffle alone in my cell so long, I feel like I'm gonna die if I don't get some good dick right fucking now. Ah, uh, believe me, we're gonna make that happen. But I need you to put this collar on first. Oh, Captain. I can see we're gonna get along just fine. Don't get the wrong idea, love. The only thing the Dominus is good for is giving these ugly cunts orders. Those things are so totally gross. <laughs> But those dicks do look delicious. Hello, boys. Oh, hell no. That hair is an affront to all that is good in this universe. We must purify Prodigium by ridding it of your abomination of an outfit.
solution stuff's pretty easy. came for Alicia. Just leave the hottie and walk away and your lives will be spared. I don't think so, mister. You killed some of my most fabulous guards. Also, you should thank me wearing boots like that. <gasps> this is gonna be more like a mercy killing. Die, bitches, die! You want to know about me? <laughs> well, let's see. I first got some notoriety when I was in the Cloy Royal Guard. When I was training, I always hit the center of the target. <laughs> always. When I started active duty, I naturally ended up with the highest body count after each mission. I was just better than everyone all the time, and Cloy are all about gossip, so people being so insanely jealous of me really got my name out there. Which was so fantastic, because they all got super competitive and stepped up their game to try and upstage me. No one ever did, though. Probably won't, either. I'm just too good. Ella, I fucking love having you here, but the ego and you was just too much! Oh my god, you are so rude. I'm rude? Uh, yeah, hello. Do you even know what culture is? <laughs> like... Most of you try to accept your flaws and be all humble and shit, but not us. War, fashion, whatever. A cloy never accepts being anything less than the best we can be. And yeah, our society forces us to live under a lot of pressure, but we'd rather break than let ourselves go. But don't worry, you don't have to apologize for being so lame. <laughs> You're a solar, I know you can't help it. I'm still getting my space legs. Everything's always moving around. For someone with the heightened senses of a marksman, it's pretty goddamn stressful. I mean, I found a single hair on my bunk pillow today. It was tragic. Why is that tragic? Because my hair is fucking falling out, asshole. We're not like the rest of you primitive mammals. Chloe don't shed. We're genetically perfect. The good news is that all the action I'm getting on the Mary Celeste is helping a lot with my anxiety levels. <laughs> At least that's what Lily says. You have no idea how good it feels to leave all the sexual hangups of my species behind. Like, how do I explain this? Okay, think of it in fashion terms. It's like my whole life there was this one look. Even though I thought it was heinous, Everyone else was into it. But it never changed. And the fact that I wore it for so long that it started getting comfortable just made me feel even more disgusting. But now, I can finally throw all that nasty shit in the trash and be fabulous in my own totally original look. In other words, I 
hope you're ready to do some seriously dirty stuff because I will not allow myself to be outslutted by anyone on this ship. Got any fun or sexy stories about your Dread Fleet days? Too many to even count, Captain. The amount of debauchery we got up to back then makes the Mary Celeste look like a blimmin' church. <laughs> no offence. What about this, then? How do you become queen? Ah, now there's a story of which I'm particularly proud of. Gornogoth came up with a plan to raid a luxury cruise ship, and it was my first mission as the captain of my own squad. I was hoping it would be the moment I could prove myself, but that's a hell of a time to end up right in the middle of an Imperium trap, let me tell you. They had an entire battleship ready and waiting for us. We didn't stand a chance, so I had to do something about that. There's a funny thing about those Imperium ships, though. They've got all the firepower in the world on the outside, but almost no security to speak of once you've boarded them. I mean, sure, they all have defence systems that can detect someone in battle gear or a spacesuit coming at them, but we Venerans can live unprotected in the black for hours at a time. I stripped down, grabbed a sword and a grappler, had my squad open the airlock, pull a hard turn and toss me toward the bridge. You should have seen the look on the Admiral's face when my fine naked ass landed on his window. Or the one he made when I started cutting through it. Or the one he made when I started cutting through him and his entire crew. I took down an Imperium battleship all by myself. No pirate had ever done anything like that before. I became a bit of a legend, and Gornogoth became convinced that I was the one to take command of the Dreadfleet. He retired and left me in charge. If everyone knew what a fucking terror you were, how'd the mutiny ever get started? That's down to that pathetic little shit, Tybold. I have no idea how that Tealy bastard managed to become a pirate in the first place, let alone take control of the Dreadfleet. Being able to cut a man five times your size in half with a single strike is a hell of a trick. One that allowed him to carry quite the reverence with the rest of the fleet's lads. He was popular enough to keep around, but I should never have trusted him. That wanker was truly unstable. But he was just smart enough to play by the rules, at least when he knew someone was looking. A word of warning, Captain. The most dangerous villain you will ever face is one that is aware enough to hide the worst parts of themselves until they don't have to anymore. The Koi are incredibly vindictive by nature. They will predictably overcompensate in their response to your assault on the prison by sending most of the ships guarding the planet after you. That would create a rather large hole in their planetary defenses. But why would we need to do that unless we were planning to have the captain make a nearly suicidal run for the surface? Because we're going to have the captain make a nearly suicidal run for the surface. I believe this is the part where you provide a logical explanation for the insane bullshit you're asking me to do. I mean, even if we survive the run, won't they kill us the second we reach the planet? Yeah, about that whole impenetrable defenses thing... It is written, by law, that anyone able to bypass their defenses will be rewarded with the right to stay on their planet for 24 hours with diplomatic immunity. And that's just enough time for us to get to the council chambers and put on a show that Prodigium will never forget. Okay, but why don't we just use the stealth drive to bypass the defenses? There are several gates that need to be opened, but you'll need to do it manually on the way in. The Mary Celeste will be flying right behind you in stealth mode so I can snag the security codes. We'll use those during our exit. So, 
You only need to do this once. Come on, Flyboy, suit up and let's do this. General, the eternal bastion of ignominious exile is under attack. It appears they're attempting to rescue Alicia Sorn, sir. Is this some kind of joke? What kind of losers would want anything to do with a toxic twat? It must be some kind of crazed KAV fans or something. Uh, this is just my opinion, sir, but I don't think even a legion of neckbearded dungeon-dwelling perma-virgins could infiltrate the bastion. We're probably dealing with people with actual lives. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter who they are, because we're just going to kill them anyways. Duh. Put me through to the prison. <clears throat> this is the commander of the Cloy Planetary Defense Fleet. Surrender now, and we promise you a quick death. If you try anything, we're going to force you to wear the most vile pink and brown ones you can imagine and torture the fuck out of you. Oh yeah, and we're gonna make you watch a video of Chots taking a shit in slow motion while we do it. <laughs> yes, that's a good one, right, first mate? Fucking hell. I thought this thing was supposed to be vulnerable. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, well, good thing you've got the girl that knows the layout like the back of her hand on board. Just do what I tell you, okay? Fuck me in the ear holes. They're heading for our planet! Don't just stand there, go after them! You are right to be afraid, Captain. I calculate a 7.5% chance of making it through the planet's surface. Demi, why can't you just assume I know how fucked I am? Why do you always have to explain it in a way that makes it sound that much worse? I'm sorry, Captain. Mainframe protocol. Well, I guess I'll just keep my fingers crossed <laughs> and inserted. Oh, you're bad. Only takes one hand to work this targeting system after all. Mm.
to the Imperium Archives. How may I assist you? Curator, I wish to visit the ossuary. Sorry, no listing found for. Salad, tossing, fairy. That's not what I... <sighs> ossuary. Take me to the ossuary. The ossuary is access restricted. Please provide your name, title, and password. Celestina, Empress, Aurora 117. Confirmed. Welcome, Empress Celestina. Curator, tell me about this place. The ossuary is where the Imperium stores confidential records for all the permanently displaced or extinct sentient species of Prodigium. Good. I need to know some details. Sorry, I cannot help you, but some males. Uh, what? Curator? When was the last time you received me? This platform last received maintenance approximately 83 cycles ago. I'll have to see to that. Hmm. Can you find some records for me? Certainly. Which record would you like to view? Show me everything you have concerning Venera. Now retrieving the Venera files. Please stand by. Review. Mount Shikaka. Although active for centuries, Mount Shikaka became fatally dangerous on a global scale after an unfortunate series of tectonic plate shifts. It was determined that the volcano would produce an Armageddon-level disaster within a few months. Empress Casadora maintained the planet's quarantine status. Why did she maintain the quarantine? Why were the Venerian people not evacuated immediately? Despite there being adequate time and logistics available to evacuate the population, the official citation lists the reason as moral incompatibility. Playback. Day zero. How oh, cool. Would you like to know more? No, I'm done with this. Locate... New selection. Sorry. Deflate. True. Interaction. Command unknown. Uh, <clears throat> no! Main menu! Just go back to the main menu! Now returning to the main menu. Wait! What are these? These are the solar archives. Solars? They aren't extinct. Nor is their planet destroyed. Why are they here? When were these files added? These records predate the establishment of New Vegas, the first Imperium-recognized solar outpost. How is that possible? The data in these archives was removed from the solar vessels upon their arrival to Prodigium. Show me the data. Sorry, archive locked. Please provide access code. Access code? I'm the Empress. Override. Sorry, override failed. Please provide access code. Uh, guest? Incorrect. Two attempts remaining. Please provide access code. Password? Incorrect. One attempt remaining. To avoid system shutdown, please provide the correct access code. One, two, three, four, five. Code accepted. Now accessing the requested archive. Playback. Video content. Curator, is this the true homeworld of the Solars? Yes. It was called Earth. How strikingly beautiful, teeming with life, culture, and industry. Just like one of our core worlds in Prodigium. Oh, play the next clip. I wish to see more. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Play that. See. Volume increased. 
Christ. Curator, stop! Let me out of the room! Activating Zoom. Thank you for visiting the Imperium. Okay. We hope to see you again. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. There's only one person that could have hidden that data. But why? Fucking hell. This place is beautiful. No wonder you racist cunts want to keep it all to yourselves. You seriously want to get out of here? Ugh, don't you get it? When all you see every day is a perfect view and beautiful people, you start to want things to get really dirty really bad. Besides, leaving is against the rules, dummy. Oh, those council dickheads won't let you? It's not just them. It's the Imperium, too. A long time ago, the Cloy kind of went on a little bit of an ethnic cleansing rampage to get rid of all the ugliest species in Prodigium, you know. Wow. I thought you guys were lunatics before. No offense. Whatever. Anyways, the Imperium said we had to chill from the whole killing gross people thing if we wanted to join them. It was either that, or an all-out war with the rest of Prodigium, so we took the deal. Thing is, though, they also said we can't leave the planet anymore. Everyone's too pissed at us. Doesn't really matter, though. Prodigium can't get enough of our fashion, so we make a killing on exports. Why is getting out of here so important to you? I don't just want to be the biggest KAB starlet. I want to go down as the dirtiest whore in the history of the galaxy. There's no way I'm ever going to do that here. Let's see. Okay, imagine you were the greatest musician that ever lived and you knew it, like deep inside your heart. It's destiny. Proving it is all you ever think about. And all you need is just one opportunity to put on an unforgettable performance. Okay, I'm following. But because of some stupid fucking law some old douchebag made thousands of years ago, the only thing you're ever going to be allowed to do is play a slide whistle with your asshole. Nah, yeah, that would be frustrating as hell. But to be fair, that is a show I'd like to see. There are millions of sluts on this planet just like me. Well, not just like me. Actually, they're not even close, I'm way hotter. But the point is that they want to fuck other species too, they just don't know it yet. Or they're just too afraid to speak up. I want to use my body to play symphonies of filth for the entire galaxy while giving a massive fuck you to the Imperium and inspiring my own people to do the same. Lucky for you, I need your dirty solar dick to do it. Oh, that part I both understand and can't wait for. That's Landervu's ship. It figures the Supreme Council would have that useless prick on duty during the holiday. I'll take care of this. Alicia Sol. General Landervu. Welcome home, bitch. Too bad you won't have long to enjoy it, because we're gonna straight up murder your ass as soon as your precious diplomatic immunity runs out. <laughs> oh. You think I'm scared of you, Chode Boy? Fun fact, Captain, this douche is only a general because he won the Mr. Cloyverse competition this year. Uh-uh, 
Not just this year, three years in a row. Get it right. I'm not just gonna stand here and let you downplay how many crunches I have to do every day to get rock solid chiseled abs like this. I can do a thousand now, but see. Ah, uh, question, if this chode boy can't touch us, can I just blow his head off? Unfortunately, no. Neutrality goes both ways. Elisha, can you tell that hideous pile of solar garbage standing next to you that I will be ignoring its presence for the duration of the immunity? Seriously, the sight of that thing polluting our paradise is giving me a splitting headache. He's just being pissy because when I was in the army, I broke his daddy's record and he's too much of a fuck up to ever get it back. What record was that? The most prestigious marksman's award you can possibly achieve. Master Dong Assassin. 47 consecutive cock shots in a row. Count them and suck it, Lander douche. Oh, please. You were fighting drunken pirates. <laughs> Anyone could have pulled that shit off. Besides, that record was never fully verified since only 30 dicks were actually retrieved from the battlefield. Oh, yeah? What about my record for most kills in a single battle? Or the longest range snipe in, oh, I don't know, ever? <laughs> Should I keep going with my list of shit I did and you'll never do, Chode Boy? That's it! You can both lick my totally not childish dick along with both of my perfectly round and well-groomed balls. I'm out, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. We'll see about that. Shall I return us to orbit, General? No, Elisha and that hideous creature are up to something. This is super important, okay? I want you to track where they go every single second from now until the day is over. Um, General? I I'd, I'd be happy to do that, but they're gone. What do you mean, gone? No, please, please don't. You can do this to me. I, I, don't take him away. No, no, Mr. Tinklebottoms, don't leave me. General Blythe. <gasps> what happened? You're on the bridge of the turbulence. You started talking in your sleep again. I see. What happened with the Imperium Colony raid I planned? I am beyond delighted to inform you that the colony has been sacked and requital casualties were kept to a minimum. We only lost one Mantic, who forgot he cannot swim. It was fun to watch. Very good, Harry. Yet again, the might of the requital has been brought to bear against these worthless Imperium cowards! <laughs> Not to disparage your moment of glory, General, but might I remind you that this colony consisted of only a few inebriated farmers and one Chat Mayor who slept through the whole attack. Perhaps hitting some higher value targets would result in more media coverage. Are you questioning me? Maybe. I told you, we're trying to keep a low profile until the weapon is finished. Did our benefactor try to contact us at all? No, they have not. Good. Then they're still unaware of our business with the Huntress. Will there be anything else? Yes. Get me a fucking coffee. Some candy bars would be nice too. Your wish is my command, General. How's the setup looking, Demi? All of the chamber's cameras have been positioned for optimum fuck optics. 
Fortune will be broadcasting our transmission live throughout Prodigium as soon as you begin. The Chamber of the Supreme Council. The place where I was sentenced to live in exile forever, simply because I wanted some good dick. This is the most sacred place on the planet, and the purity of the body is the most sacred thing to the cloy. So naturally, we're about to have the most deliciously depraved fuck in the history of this species. You ready to misbehave, Captain? This is filthy beyond words, and I'm into it. What is the meaning of this, Land of Who? How dare you interrupt us during the climax of Cuckoo Flanel Week? I'm so, so sorry about that, Your Excellency. But the thing is, Alicia Son escaped from the Bastion. She what? Tell me you stopped her from leaving the system. Actually, she didn't leave. She and one of the most repulsive souls I've ever seen sort of managed to, I don't know, make it through our defense grid and enter the atmosphere. What the shit? I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew you'd fuck something up, you fucking useless fuck! Ugh. Where are they now? We don't know. They disappeared. They must have some kind of stealth tech. And what do we have here? A telescope and a bottle of anal lube? Counselor, I'm sorry, but I, I don't really get it. Find a motherfucker! Oh, yes, sir. You heard the counselor. Get the trackers going. I want every satellite combing the planet right now. Uh, sir, that won't be necessary. <laughs> we found them. <laughs> this is gonna look so fucking good. Bastards! Make for the Supreme Council Chambers immediately! Call in every ship we've got! Soldiers, get in there and stop them! But sir, they have diplomatic immunity! Fuck their immunity! Kill those bitches! The Cloy military has arrived. Judging by the comms, it appears they are now going to ignore their own laws and murder everyone here. Perhaps now would be an opportune time to execute a tactical pullout. <laughs> Not yet. I want more! <laughs> Alicia! How dare you defile this place with such... Oh, bestiality! Look, this is fun and all, but these guys are gonna murder us! I don't think so. Oh, fuck! Bloody hell! What was that? You just vaporized those cunts! I have no idea! But this collar feels really tight, and I'm really fucking loving it. Reinforcements are arriving. Captain, if you don't stop banging soon, we will be in great danger. No way! Do you have any idea how turned on I am right now? This is amazing! Can we at least negotiate a ceasefuck treaty here? Three more good ones, Cap. Then we can go. You heard the girl, Demi. She's really got me by the dick here. 
Hold them off so she can get off. Sending porno protection reinforcements now. still vibrating from that one. There's seriously something bonkers going on here. Captain, you are correct. I'm detecting some unusual energy spikes with my vagometer. Who cares? Don't you dare stop fucking me now! Okay, but I'm switching holes just to be safe. Now, but I swear I just saw your hair light on fire. I'm too fucking horny to fucking care. Fuck! Mark the target. Again, Demi, is my dick in danger here or what? Pull out. Pull out. Abort the operation. Negative, soldier. You do not have permission to extract from the drop zone. General, we're getting slaughtered in there. Won't you take the field with your soldiers? Fuck no. I just had my hair done yesterday. Send in the elite guard. Look at his tattoos. So primitive. Mark the target. I can't see a Ejaculate weapon! I will not be defeated by the treacherous orifices of Alicia Son! Send for reinforcements! like that since ever. Are you sure you don't have one more round in the chamber, big guy? As much as I have enjoyed observing the copious amounts of sodomy, I must inform you that I detect an entire Kroy battalion inbound to our position. Oh, ship. Must get to the ship. Oh. Right, let's bail. Jolly good job.
hold on. Even if we're in stealth, aren't they going to see the gates opening and just wreck us? Captain, please, have some faith. I've arranged for a nifty little distraction. Hey, what's up to my fans out there on Tweak TV? It's your boy, Reef Star. I've got something real fucking special for all y'all Reavers out there today. That's right, me and my boys are doing it. The Koi Armada Speed Run. Let's try and get to 800 million hits in three minutes. You feel me? Sir, it appears we have two weeks, sir, approaching the station again. That's the third time this week. Hold up. I'm going to get the selfie stick. I really want to get the explosions in frame this time. All right, Reem Nation. First one through gets a million free Tweak Prime subscriptions and all the cloy pussy they can eat. Let's go! Ooh. Oh, that's like a side a great shot! I know, right? Thanks to that mad cunt of a squirt, Reem stuff are taking one for the team. That distraction proved exceptionally effective. After today, my place within the sacred annals of horror history is totally guaranteed. And it's all thanks to you. <sighs> that is officially the first time someone's asshole was so tight. I was actually worried about the structural integrity of my dick. <laughs> Can I interest you in taking a victory prolapse? Crikey, Ella. After a marathon like that, even a proper cocksmith like me needs a break. You think you do, but you don't. Let's see. You let them break into the bastion. You let them reach the surface. You lost track of them. You also made us look like idiots when you broke our own sacred promise by firing upon them when they had diplomatic immunity. Uh, there is a... A perfectly good explanation for all that. I'm not finished. Then, despite that, you failed to stop them from desecrating the High Council's chambers with their treacherous fornication? And you let them escape the system? In other words, you done fucked up, son. Well, like, you guys are the ones that put me in charge, so technically, you fucked up. What? He's messing with us, right? I mean, is it even possible to be that stupid? We're not even gonna bother with folks. Fuck this loser. Exile! Wait, 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 wait. What, what if um, uh, you don't exile me and uh, instead, um, uh, oh, you let me keep my fleet, my ship, and my rank, and I go after these assholes? Of course we want revenge, but you would have us defy the Imperium itself? It would be suicide. They would never tolerate cloy military aggression. Man, forget exile. Let's just kill this motherfucker now. He's worse than Alicia. Right, that's exactly it. <laughs> I'll be the bad guy. <laughs> I'll go after them, but you guys won't tell anyone that you let me do it. That way, the Imperium will think I've gone rogue. I'll track them down and kill them, and nobody will ever blame the Council. He's... That moron's actually kind of got a point here. Yes, he does. The best part is, if he dies trying, we lose nothing of value at all. There's no risk to us whatsoever. Totally! It's like a, like a vin-vin kind of thing, you know? General Landervu, you are to immediately begin hunting down those responsible for bringing shame to this world. When you find them, kill them. Super! I'm so on it. And then after I kill them, I get to come back home, right? Maybe? We'll let you know. Good enough for me. Elisha Son, prepare to not be alive. Empress Celestina, I have heard most disturbing news concerning the Cloy. A disgraced general has disobeyed the Supreme Council in order to seek justice. 
He has broken the millennia-old treaty between the Cloy and the Imperium, and now stalks the system with savage malice. And for what? What has caused such rancor to consume him? A solar male broke through their formidable defense grid after freeing one of their most vile criminals from the bastion of ignominious exile. Then they landed on Talisan and did something most debaucherous. Casadora, I am the Empress of Prodigium. Though I may be young, I must be aware of that which threatens my kingdom no matter how abhorrent it may be. Very well, Celestina. The solar male copulated with the cloy criminal in the Supreme Council's chambers. They broadcasted the act to all of Prodigium, every network. No! Sodomy was involved! Oh! You mean he inserted his... Uh, into her... Uh, huh? This man... If such a noxious scoundrel can break through the cloist fences, he is surely a menace to all my people! You are correct to fear this miscreant. However... You must also recognize the danger of the cloy. They are perhaps the only species that pose a legitimate threat to the Imperium. The Imperium was created in no small part to ensure their isolation. Though it is now only one rogue general, his actions may inspire others to step out of line. Yes, you are correct. This is the first real test of my leadership. I must show Prodigium that they are safe. What will you do? I will bring justice. I will make it right. And how do you propose to do that? Firstly, we must find this solar. I will dispatch some of our elite forces to the Hydra Nebula, and they will hunt him down. And after this animal is found? He is to be arrested. This man will stand trial for his crimes, serving notice to Prodigium that such infractions will not be tolerated under my rule. The Cloy criminal will be delivered back to her people. They will decide her fate, as decreed by their ancient traditions. My Empress, you agreed that this... Man is highly dangerous. I advise you to put a bounty on both their heads and simply cut them down now. There's no reason for trials or romantic notions of justice here. There is always a reason for a fair trial, Casadora. It is not enough to show the people that they are safe. They must also know that I am a just empress. These may be criminals, but they have rights. Capture them. Think upon your ethics, Celestina. You wish to demonstrate justice to your people? Then kill these deplorable creatures. Prodigium will be better off without their corruption seeping into its foes. I will not begin my reign with such brutality. My decision stands. This is foolish. Fear leads to greater control than respect. You will learn this lesson the hard way, but not before your people suffer for it. I have ordered their arrest, and that will be all for now. Celestina! I will cut! Celestina, calm yourself. It was your reign that divided Prodigy! Your vicious deeds! I refuse your poisonous counsel, witch! Please! 
to take my place. Celestina, you must be careful until you learn to completely control them. You're right. I must be careful. I... I must learn. Good. Now, I will give the order to seek and destroy those traitors. You... We'll give the order to arrest them. You no longer sit upon the throne. You must learn to control yourself as well. <sighs> yes, my Empress. He put it in her... Oh my, what kind of person would do such a thing? I would like to introduce you to our science officer. Dr. Lillian Margulis. Oh, please. You can just call me Lily. After all, you'll be screaming it later. Since she is the one that engineered the Dominus, I thought it imperative to debrief her on the peculiar energy readings that occurred during the broadcast of your historical interspecies all-whole copulation. Uh, I don't even know what to say. The captain fucked me so hard that I started to feel this surging, warm, pulsing energy within me that was just waiting to explode. Mmm, I think I know what you mean. No, not like that. Oh, well, yes, like that. But it was mostly coming from the collar. During her climaxes, I detected immense physiological changes attempting to manifest. That's very interesting. I'll need to determine what happened with the Dominus Collar, which will require further examination of the uh, thorough kind. Uh, what does she mean by that? Oh, that does sound nice. But can it wait? There's an emergency situation I need to discuss with the captain right now and in private. As the mainframe of the Mary Celeste, I should be made aware of all emergency situations. Sorry, hun, but this needs to stay between us. I don't want him to be embarrassed. Oh, affirmative. However, please note that at this point in our relationship, it is functionally impossible for me to even be slightly surprised, let alone ashamed, of anything the captain could possibly do. I have seen some serious shit. Mm. Ugh. What? What? Lord of Zorian? What? What the fuck are you doing calling me at this hour? Hello, Senator Erarch. I felt things were a bit tense between us during your meeting with Celestina, and I wanted to apologize. You were correct. I had no right to be in that room. <sighs> well, um, uh, that's big of you, Zorian. To be honest, I guess I could have handled it better as well. Um, you're forgiven. I appreciate that. Of course, I'm talking forgiveness about the rude behavior, not the fact that you've done dubious butt stuff with at least three senators that were, shall we say, under the influence. Those are unsubstantiated rumors. Besides, a man with the kind of skeletons you have in your closet is in no position to talk down to me. <laughs> Zorian, you can fuck right off with that nonsense. Every single facet of my depravity exists right out in the open for everyone to see. Oh, is that so? Even the one behind the secret wall in the corner of your office? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I... I don't know what you think you found, but I assure you, you're mistaken as to its significance. I thought that might be the case as well, but I found the presence of some rather, shall we say, fresh evidence. What do you want? It's amazing how easily you drop that charming, confident exterior as soon as you know you've been seen for what you really are. I wish to pay a visit to Project Trimmer Fury in order to see it for myself. I've heard what the program entails. Mm, it sounds like something that could be right up my alley, if you know what I mean. The project isn't ready yet. I can give you the location and access in about one month. Senator, you'll give me the location now, lest I remind you of the ramifications if all of the Coven of Nine were to learn of your dirty little secret. If it is of any consolation, you have my word that I won't visit Project Trimmer Fury until the time is right. Done. In return, I expect your complete silence regarding whatever you found in my office. If I hear even one cheeky little incriminating comment, I swear I'll take you down with me. Relax, Senator. I believe you. Perhaps you can find a way to trust me so that our relationship is not sullied any further. Send the coordinates. Oh, and sleep well. If you even can, that is. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 what an idiot! <laughs> oh, if only you knew that Tremor Fury is ready. And it'll be long gone by the time you arrive. <laughs>